Hey, funny friends. Hey, 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 hey. If you don't know me already, my name is Jess. I am one of the leaders here at Woven Earth Collective. This is an episode of There's an Oil for That. We do this in the beginning of the month to share with you some cool oil info facts and to share with you our calendar. I'm bringing on Annie. At- We're going to have this conversation with y'all. Welcome to November. November. What, tell me in the comments what your favorite part of November is. There's there's Annie. Hey. Hey, hey. Oh, how you doing today? I am good. It is busy and that is fabulous. Hi. Absolutely fabulous. Yes. So today, this time, I thought I would start with specifically what is an essential oil to kick us off? for this there's an oil for that which you know mostly I wanted to get into you know it's one of my favorite things they say in the oil life book is concentrated goodness from nature um and that comes from you know herbs spices citrus roots leaves woods resins essential oils come from all sorts of different parts of the plant and they, you know, they're natural chemicals was the other thing that I like to talk about because often we think of the idea of a chemical as something icky. We've sort of started associating the word chemical with something that's even toxic, but synthetic chemicals are more often what we're looking to get out of our lives and the natural chemicals are what create all the goodness in our lives. Absolutely. There's chemicals in everything, you guys. They're called constituents. And so, for example, like, (laughs) there's just chemicals in in essential oils, and there's chemicals all around us. But the synthetic chemicals that humans make, oftentimes to cut corners, they, they have nasty side effects. All right. And so it's important that uh, we focus on just the purest of the chemicals from nature, the way nature intended it to be. Absolutely. And that is really sort of the focus of doTERRA and why I love doing this particular episode every month, because those constituents, those chemical constituents are scientifically what make essential oils and then as well the doTERRA products that they make from those essential oils so amazing when it comes to being good for your health in so many different ways. Absolutely. And it's really important that uh, people understand that a lot of the essential oils that we buy at the grocery stores or even at the health food stores are partly or completely synthetic. They're not actually from the plant. doTERRA recently did a test of all the birch oils and that was, I don't know if it's, I think it's just, I'm going to say this country to be safe, but all the birch oils like, they could find and they tested of them, none of them were 100% birch. Yeah, so, I, I think it was in the world. <laughs> I think it was too, but I just wanted to be safe. Totally. <laughs> I just wanted to back up that intuitive sense there. Um, yeah, and then on top of that, often, you know, the other side is that you're getting essential oils, but you're getting carrier oils. Like that was one of the number one things that really hit me hard when I first started buying essential oils before I knew anything about doTERRA is you'd see that 100% essential oil on the front of the bottle and then you get it home and realize you didn't read the ingredients because you didn't think you needed to come to find out that, yeah, sure, there's some 100% essential oil in there, but it's mostly almond oil or coconut oil or whatever filler is in there. And so it's not a whole bottle of just essential oil, but there is a hundred percent essential oil in there somewhere. You know, it's, it, it blows my mind what they can get away with in America, at least in the industry of organics and natural products and things like that. Because like, for instance, an organic product can have 5% non-organic stuff in it and still be labeled organic. Um, And there's not a labeling um there's not a lot of like i don't know there's not a lot of regulation when it comes to essential oils anyway and so a lot of people like remark about how doTERRA has labs and they use like third-party labs to get their oils tested at the same time and they came up with a 
certified peer tested used to be therapeutic certified peer tested grade oils and um, people say this as if it's like something bad but if you're making a product that subsides or exceeds anyway exceeds the regular standard like you have to give it its own name like there's no there's no way like if you're if there's no pure oil out there in in the consumer market and you want to tell people that your product is pure tested <laughs> then you're gonna have to come up with a name to explain to people and to show them the test results which is really cool you can see the test results for every bottle that you have it's pretty uh, absolutely and that you know is is to to wrap up sort of that commentary on quality um you know show us the the bottoms you can go to source for you um and every single bottle has a little number on the bottom so you can see the testing that gets done and i love it because the people who founded doTERRA literally founded doTERRA because the standards at the company they were at were not high enough for them and their standards continue to stay high as they continue to grow and I mean, it's got to be the number one thing for me that creates the loyalty that I have to doTERRA, let alone the excitement that I have, because I know that I'm getting something that's not going to have crazy toxins in it, that I can look up myself, that it's all, you know, I love the, the method behind the magic. I'm all about the science behind the magic all the time. So, you know, having the constituents, getting to look those up, all of those things, having you know, the science and the magic in it all in one and knowing that it's it's going to be quality because their standards are so high and they're upholding their own standards that are higher than anybody else's. I, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. It was definitely one of the things that really got me as far as like a low tox lifestyle. So if you buy a specific oil, but it's concentrated. So the ways that oils get made is generally that speaking, they're distilled. Some kind of distillation process takes the oils, the essential oils, and <clears throat> purifies them down to one thing. But that batch goes and gets tested, okay? And if you are using heavy pesticides, then those chemical constituents of those pesticides are going to be in your essential oils that you're putting on your kids, that you're putting on yourself, that you're putting in your water if you're... I wouldn't, don't put any oils except for doTERRA's in your water. <laughs> let's just, let's just say that. Um, because you never know if you could be actually drinking concentrated pesticides unless you have doTERRA oils. And that one piece of information was like, what? Like my mind was blown. And I was like, yes, only pure oils, please. There's a reason why doTERRA says pursue what's pure. Totally. Like, and that is on multiple levels, but we'll just talk about the oils for now. <laughs> no, absolutely, absolutely. You know, that's one of the things that I love is that, you know, they're the only oil that I'm aware of. I think they're the only oil that actually have the nutrition facts on the bottle for the oils that you can ingest, which, you know, brings me to the three different delivery systems. When it comes to the oils versus the ready-made products, the oils have three delivery systems in which we can use to get them into our bodies. And that's something I like to talk about here because you can get it internally and you'll know which oils are good for internal use for ingestion because it'll have the supplement facts on the bottle. Um, as where the oils that aren't good for internal use will not have the supplement facts as a safe, safe. This bet. is lemon. Lemon is ingestible, safe for internal use. Great for the body, in my opinion. Cypress, on the other hand, is not an internal oil, so it just has... It has that code on it. It says for aromatic and topical use, but there's no supplement facts on the Cypress bottle. So that's just one example. All the oils can be used for aromatic use, which is going to be, you know, either putting it in your diffuser or you can put it on your hands and rub it together in your hands and then smell it from your hands. And that'll give you both topical and um aromatic use which is amazing it's our favorite way to share oils is sticking a little bit i i do that all the time no matter how i'm using the oils i usually end up getting them on my hands anyway um and then i always at the end of using whatever oils i'm using i'll rub my hands together and smell them and i'm starting to get looks in public <laughs> <laughs> you just became part of the oil huffing squad you just like <laughs> 
Tell me if you're part of the if you're part of the club that like your clothes smell better when you take them off than when you put them on. <laughs> I was talking to Serena about this about how it was a big perk, and I was like, wow, when I'm using my oils and I take my clothes off, they smell amazing. <laughs> like I barely like sometimes I just like they're only half dirty because, <laughs> because my oils have like made everything smell fantastic. Absolutely, absolutely. And then the last of the delivery systems that I haven't mentioned so far, or kind of, but is the external use. And one of my favorite things, our favorite things at doTERRA to talk about is putting them on the bottoms of your feet because you have the pores on the bottom of your feet are the largest pores. So that will bring the oils up into your system the fastest, the easiest. And when you put oils on your skin, no matter where you put them, you will get that oil to every cell in your entire body like people underestimate the fact that the skin is the largest organ that we have to ingest well technically it's not ingestion but to consume things with because if you put something on your skin it will get into the entirety of you if you you know it's something that can pass through the cell barrier so you know like i i brain you guys around each and essential oils, you know, oil and water don't mix. A lot of over-the-counter pharmaceuticals are water-based, and so you want to get like some oil-based medicine in those cells. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, I can't imagine like thinking about all of the like different cosmetic products I've used in my life. Like, <laughs> and if you're interested in a low toxic lifestyle, right? Because there's enough environmental toxins around us at all the time, like in our water and all kinds of shit. So I, I as like a human who wants to thrive, consider a low toxic lifestyle really important to me because we're kind of bombarded around with it. <clears throat> so I would say I don't like I enjoy not buying lotions and stuff anymore. Like that feels amazing because I don't know what all those sodium hydroxide stuff on the back of the lotion bottles are. I just, if I wouldn't eat it, then I don't put it on my skin anymore. And that's pretty much like 90, 90% of the time. Like I just make my own stuff and it's actually very simple. And I love that I can customize my scents for what I need emotionally and physically by making your own body oils or your body lotions. Absolutely. How to do that. That sounds fun. Absolutely. I was just doing the um, DIY from the the home edit um, garbage disposal cleaner, which I'm super excited about. And what I love about doTERRA is that mostly if you want to use the oils and you want to DIY something, they have a DIY for everything. But they also have a product ready made for just about everything. I have at this point replaced everything I could in my home with a doTERRA product. I can officially say that now. And, you know, everything from, I like to mention the dishwasher detergent, the laundry detergent, the dish soap, shampoos, conditioners, supplements. I've got some more written down here somewhere. You know, the toothpaste, the first aid, the sore muscle rub, um, cleaning products, everything. Yeah, everything that you would go to the grocery store, but made with essential oils and a hell of a less toxins. I'm just, I, and it's, it's really fun to be able to just switch your shopping. So I don't feel like I'm necessarily spending like incredibly amounts more. I'm just still spending the same thing, but I'm getting it from a better source. And that's kind of accessible. That feels more accessible than just like thinking like, oh, well, now I want to buy this. It's not. I just buy two bags of laundry pods instead of going to the Whole Foods and buying seventh generation laundry pods. Like (laughs) it's just like a quick switch. And I also get 30 percent back on my purchases because I am a monthly subscriber to my doTERRA products. Absolutely. Which brings me to our next part of There's an Oil for That, which is how to get the oils into your life, which we like to say, you know, why pay retail if you don't have to? So we have a wholesale membership, which I like to remind people just because it's called the wholesale membership doesn't mean you have to have a store to (laughs) sign up. The wholesale membership is just the yearly membership that anyone can sign up for and it gets you hold on 25 percent off <laughs> every purchase okay. every time. Okay. i've got written down now mm. 
Um, yeah. So the wholesale membership at a minimum is going to get you 25% off every purchase every time. Yeah. And it's $35 for the first year, but then it ends up being $25 for every year after that. And you get the free oil, the free peppermint oil, which is amazing. And then as a wholesale member, you can do with it. Whoa. <laughs> That was weird. As a wholesale member, you can do the subscribe and save option, which is what we call the LRP, the loyalty rewards program, which allows you to do the monthly box where you can pick anything you want. It doesn't have to be the same thing every month. You can customize your box every month. And then that starts earning you more points because we have a, a point system that allows you to get free stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, and the longer you're a member, the more points by percentage you get back. So it's just, they have it so hooked up to give us <laughs> I so know. much back. They're so much more generous than Costco or Sam's Club, y'all. Because <laughs> Costco, like, gives you, like, well, like a 1% check back for everything that you spent. And doTERRA gives you, like, 30% in doTERRA dollars to spend. <laughs> and so it's, it's actually incredibly generous. And you're rewarded by your seniority and you're rewarded like the what do I want to call it the um the rate in which people leave doTERRA <laughs> what am I, retention rate that's right sorry it's a little late y'all let's just be real okay the retention rate is really really low as far as the industry standard at doTERRA because they give such generous perks for being a, a lifelong customer even and so it's a company that has great um, growth potential. It's already like a $2 billion company or $1 billion company in America with the rate of growth is, um, is like substantial or equitable to, to Apple. And so when you think about that, and then you think about how in each state, it's less like less than 5% saturation rate for each state, including Utah like which is where doTERRA's main office is and there's an um, doTERRA as a company is spread out to more and more worldwide markets and so with the low retention rate <clears throat> with the low saturation rate like only like low percentages of people have doTERRA products in their home with the expansion and with the the high interest in people caring about their environment and caring about their body biome, <laughs> their body's environment and the health of their families. Um, I'll leave it at that. But with all of these things increasing, it's doTERRA is actually a very low risk investment into your health. And it's a very low risk investment into your, um, to your financial or like a business. I just wanted to say that real quick. It's, it's a, there's a reason that we're here and we're a growing community like this because it really genuinely is a win-win situation. We have not found an example to where like there's any like win losing situations. It's a beautiful business, a beautiful uh, healing container and the results speak for themselves. Uh, your body will speak your own results and it's really fun to see people get relief in where they're suffering from. It's a joy. Yeah. It really is. It really is. All of the different ways in which, like, I always like to say, I enjoy doing my dishes. I get excited just doing my dishes because I have the doTERRA dish soap, you know, that just the smell of it alone. And people underestimate the way just smells affect our emotions through our brains. It, it really does. I was just saying earlier um, in one of my stories that like I, I was doing this really menial task and then I had like some time to kill because we ended up not being able to fit everything in both cars. So we had to drive one back while I guarded the other one. And I was thinking about how much fun I was having loading pallets of cups <laughs> into a truck because of the mindset in which I was in, because of the person I was with. And little things can do that for you. Smells being one of them. They can put you in that mindset. They can get you back to a mindset. And they can get you back to, you know, sad mindsets just as much as they can get you into good, positive mindsets. But it works both ways. 
And so if you want to elevate yourself, it's these little things that can make all the difference in so many different ways. And that's part of why I love having doTERRA be a part of everything I do, Mm. everything I do. Like there are very, very, very few things like you and Tanya had the, um, comment about not being able to fix a roof with doTERRA <laughs> right. just get over the stress of having a leaky roof with doTERRA you know like yeah exactly we, it was so funny back when that happened the poor blue she was like she was like is this is there an oil for like gallons of water pulling into my living room and I'm like just grab the adaptive and breathe sister <laughs> Like, there's really not, like, an oil that can fix a leaky roof, but there's an oil that can help you fix a leaky roof better. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Um, right. So, right. unfortunately, I am not in a place where I can access the calendar this time. So, I uh, have to leave that to you. I wasn't able to write it down this morning. I will. You just interject anything that you want to add to it, okay? Okay. So we already had our Dia de los Muertos celebration, okay? And on the 3rd, which is a Thursday, oh, that's today, silly me. <laughs> Rewind. <laughs> okay. So on the 4th, which is tomorrow, Blue's going to make the full moon blend during Blend Magic on Instagram Live. And then we have Drop in Knowledge with Blue and I on Instagram Live, and that's it. Um, Sunday, Sunday drop of the knowledge on clove. Clove, Ooh. which is the oil of the month. Every month, the drop in knowledge oil is the free oil of the month that you get when you have your LRP. Yeah, that's that loyalty box that we were talking about. All the perks you get your perks for being your, you're putting in your box. It's cool. Okay, and then on Monday the seventh, we have empowered success training in the evening. That is cool. It's all about meta power, metabolic health. That's really fun. And then on Tuesday is our full moon gathering. That's coming up quick. I better make that flyer. Full yeah. moon gathering. Okay. Full moon, full moon gathering. I want people to know that it's collaborative effort. Okay. It's no like single, it's like we co-leaders getting together and deciding what we have in our like spirit centers <laughs> to offer for the people. It's our moon gatherings are highly accessible. Okay. They're free to get in, which is important to us. We don't feel like we should live in a world where capitalism stops us from healing. Right. Right. Okay. So we invite you to come just check it out. You can have your camera on or off. You can uh, join us for meditation. We do, we do fun things. We pull cards on new moons, stuff like that. So full moon gathering Tuesday, the eighth. After that, we have diffusing meditation with Annie and I. Do you have anything to say about that on the 10th? I am just getting ready to come up with a new meditation. I'm trying to bring bring new and fun stuff every time. So I'm, I'm still haven't figured it out yet, but I always do. I always do. <laughs> we could do like a cup meditation where you imagine doing something very like nor like normal and meditative like washing dishes and you just like put so much focus and love into that one task that'd be cute moving on okay we need you rich is on friday i'm gonna talk about financial healing basically financial healing this is the 11th by the way financial financial healing in a world where we are financially unstable i think that this is like a conversation that needs to be had so join me on instagram live for that and then on the 13th, I'm bringing on Joy King. She lives in Africa. I'm not exactly sure where, but I love her Instagram. She's a underscore, underscore, Joy King, underscore on Instagram. And we're going to have a sit down, ch- chill and chat at a empowerment circle. And then the day after that, Monday the 14th, we have a song circle. That's where we, it's actually in the morning this time, or not in the morning, but earlier in the day. And that's where we do 30 minutes of guided singing. It's just a flex on your throat. Uh, No one hears you singing. Generally speaking, we're mostly muted and we're following like the song or we're like singing together. But online, you got to adjust a little bit. It's really fun. No need to be embarrassed. Come sing with us on Monday 14th. And then it'll be last quarter moon on the 16th where we have grief gate every last quarter moon. And the reason we do this is that so we can hollow out, like sometimes emotions after the full moon can leave us with so many things to process. 
So by the time we get to the last quarter moon, it's, we're dealing with heavy feelings. And it's important that we do this before the new moon where we're supposed to be bringing in more. So the last quarter moon during grief gate, we do some grief processing and it's just a one hour container. You have to be on time to get in because it would be totally uncool for you to join in the middle of someone's grief expression. So it's a safe container. The energy gets sent away. No one's harboring your energy. And it's important to do before the new moon so that just like you need to clear the sidewalk or clear something away to be able to bring new things in. And then, which is really cool, I'm really excited about this, Thursday on the 17th, 17th, we have, we've been joking and calling it 3G, but it's actually called Guided Gratitude, and Gabe is teaching that, and it's going to be in Tanya's Zoom room, www.tinyurl.com slash yarnwitch. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited that Gabe is going to teach us some gratitude journaling and challenges that we can do. Join us for that. And then on the 21st, a Monday, we have In the Cards for You. We do this right before the new moon. Serena and I get all of our card decks out and we like just pretty much pull cards for people that are on Instagram. Excuse me. I'm going to interject here. You guys are so badass at pulling cards. Like, it's definitely not something anybody wants to miss. Like, it, it is such a unique and amazing experience and always, like, what you need to hear in, like, all the best ways. So I want to highly encourage everybody to show up for In the Cards for You because it's amazing. Oh, my God. Oh, man. I appreciate that so much. It's We've gotten great reviews from In the Cards for You. We do end up pulling more cards during the new moon. So we circle up during the new moon on the 23rd, which is a Wednesday. And after we circle up for the new moon, then we pull cards for everyone that's in attendance. And that's right before the American holiday of Thanksgiving. We don't have anything planned, but we would, we would love if you joined us for our new moon. I think it's gonna be an important one. After that, on the 26th, a Saturday, we have Stitch and Bitch. Lou is leading. She grabs projects. I'm going to try to make this one and sew some books together. So we, we invite you to bring your projects and just hang out. We can fit three people up to three people on Instagram Live. But we're all there in spirit. And sometimes you have to put down your needles to, like, write a comment on your phone. And that's okay. Uh, let's see. And then after that, at the end of the month, we have on the 28th, which is on Monday, we have Q&A. This is an ask anything type of thing. We'll put it in on the uh, wall and we'll put it in the stories and you just ask anything that you're curious about. And then Witch's Wheel on the 29th, which is Tuesday. That's where I get the emotion wheel out and I ask people who want to play the game what they would rather feel more of or what they would rather feel less of. And we distill it down into the one oil that you need, the plant medicine you need the most in that moment. It's really fun. It's a spin and win oils type of thing. Anyone last time you want to balance. Um, after that, we have the first quarter moon again. What's interesting is the first quarter moon is technically still in November. So we have two first quarter moons in November on the first and on the 30th. <laughs> so uh, every first quarter moon, we do a new ships meeting, which is like a whole WECO collective hangout. This time it was a uh, Dia de los Muertos celebration. But generally speaking, we show up, we hang out. If you're new, you can ask questions. If you've been here a while, we can just talk about our lives. Like it's just a general hang, no pressure. But we invite anyone who just joined the collective to come and meet everyone. And so everyone, every friend is welcome. And that's it for November, Annie. Nice. I am so excited for so many of these. Dude, um, yeah, another one I will talk up is the Witch's Wheel. Because you get a free sample if you step up and spin the wheel. It's It's a good time. And... It was all, oh, it's always interesting because I was already using balance. Um, and the, um, what was it? The Douglas fur that we really, not Douglas fur. It was one of the, it was one of the blue, spruce? Blue, blue spruce. Yeah. Versus the black spruce. Right. That was it. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I was already using the balance with that in there. Um, 
And uh, yeah, it's, it's amazing, especially again, I've been putting it on my feet and it like just doing the witch's wheel got me just that much more psyched about doing it like every day. So I highly recommend everybody check out the witch's wheel. If you want to come get a free sample, if you're somewhere on the fence, if you want to try something out, we give away free samples every Saturday actually, but also with the witch's wheel. So it's yeah. a good way to, good way to dip your toe in the water. Yeah. And we all welcome anyone that has questions. Um, if you have a special calling that you would like to share something, please approach us. We're, we're highly approachable. And um, we, we look for the collective good for, for everyone in this collective and in the situation. And life can be hard to navigate. And I've been contemplating how our tools, whether it be breath work or cypress oil, you know, like whatever that is, our tools are actually so 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 important to getting us through our days without like breaking down so don't forget your proactive health tools everyone oils meditation deep breaths you know anything about nature and uh yeah i i invite you to be open to community community that travels with you anywhere um yeah a lot of cool perks about our community and we want to share it with you Absolutely. And as you said, we are all very approachable and you can always reach out to us here. But we also always want to invite if you've been invited here by one of the WECO leaders, definitely don't hesitate. We want to invite you to actually reach out back to them if someone invited you here um, that's a WECO leader because they will be very eager and excited to help you as well. Yeah. And if you feel like a calling and you're not sure where to start, we do these things called wellness consultations. And that's just where we get on a Zoom call with you. And we focus on the things that are bothering you the most that are like the most approachable. So in your life, if you're really having a hard time sleeping, then we're going to deal with that first, that kind of thing. So we have many options for you to come and join us. And we hope that you had a nice time tonight. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, Annie. I appreciate you being here with you and I will see you soon. Bye. Bye guys.